Riba from Iman Power and this is a video I have been waiting to make for months now. I am so excited and so happy to finally bring Heroes of Islam course to all of you. Previously we ran this course just with selected children from some parts of the world, USA, Australia and London and was just open to just a few children and subhanallah what an amazing time we had. But now, inshallah, this course is open to anybody who wants to join. Well, as long as we don't exceed the number of places. <laughs> well, why is this course so special? This is a course that will take children from many different parts of the world and bring you all together. And inshallah, together, we will go on a journey in time to a time 1400 years ago. A time when Prophet Muhammad was alive with his Sahaba, with his companions Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali anhu. And we will see how much he loved them and how much they loved him. And so many Sahaba, so many stories and so many people who made sacrifices for us. It is, it is incumbent on us to learn about them and to love them as they deserve a love. So inshallah we will travel back in time and we will see, we will, we will feel like we were children and we were people, not me not being a children, you being children, we were there and we were watching them as Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu came so much in pain and in so much hurt and he came to worry how is my, how is my friend, how is my prophet, how is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and when prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa saw him coming towards him he hugged him and he had tears in his eye seeing his condition we will see how Umar radiallahu anhu being such a strong leader the leader of all the Muslim with such power how he was still so humble that if he felt he had been unfair to a man on the street, he will say, hit me back as I hit you. What made him being so humble? Why, why did he do these actions? We will see how Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was so generous and so honest and he didn't fear anyone. He didn't, he didn't fear anyone. He had complete trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah, from all these stories, from all these, from this whole journey, when we come back, we will come back with a stronger Iman and a with greater love for all of these Sahabas in our heart. And we will be closer to Allah and we will be closer to Firdaus. We will study these lives and we will see inshallah how we can extract these equalities and what they did, learn from them and not just learn but then apply them to our lives. Together, inshallah, together we will work towards applying them into our lives. And it's not going to be easy, I can tell you that right now. If you want an easy course, this is not, this is not it. This is going to be a challenge for you. This is going, any children watching, be ready is going to be a challenge for you. But I can guarantee you that. If you put in the time, you put in your effort, you dedicate your hearts and minds to it, inshallah, we will come out of this journey closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stronger in your iman. And stronger in your iman and closer to Jannat al firdaus So if you want that, if you want that, then inshallah, come to the course and we will do exactly that. Now, there is one other special part about the course and that is you will make a friend. You will make a friend maybe from somewhere else in your country or maybe from a completely different country, completely different part of the world. And inshallah that will be your friend who you will work together towards becoming more like these Sahabas. Both of you or three of you or uh, you will all work together to bring yourselves closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, support each other. And inshallah, there is a hadith that if you love someone for only just for the sake of Allah, then Allah loves you. So this will be that friend that you made in the path of knowledge for the sake of Allah. So if you love them, inshallah, Allah will love you. The goal of the course is that we come back with a determination to be like Abu Bakr anhu, to be like Umar anhu. 
and maybe they were just too perfect, they were just too amazing and we can never be like them. We feel like, oh, Papa is too perfect and never be like him. But no, we will never give up and inshallah, maybe on the day of judgment, we can't stand up just um, with so many righteous deeds and so pious as Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was. But inshallah, if we keep trying, if we keep trying and trying and trying, then on the day of judgment, we can stand in front of Allah and if we had really sincerely tried, we can say, Ya Allah, all my life I tried to be like Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. I tried to be like Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu because you love him, so I tried to spend my life like him. Maybe I failed, maybe I kept making mistakes, maybe I kept failing, but I kept trying to be like him so that you love me as you love him. So inshallah, that is our goal, that is what we hope to achieve from this goal. We have to learn more about them to be like them. Inshallah. I look forward to meeting you there and going on this journey with you and many different children from different countries. And I'm sure you are looking forward to meeting all these different kids as well and making new friends and learning about these great Sahabas and going on this journey and coming back with this determination. So don't be lazy and register right now before you miss out on your chance. You don't want to miss out this chance which might never come back again. Inshallah. See